even had thought that um, that a, a squid or an octopus that spirits take on the personalities of these uh, and the of the personalities of um, of uh, creatures. Of course, most of you know that's why in your dream you have dreamt um, even when you go to shrines and covens, the sons of darkness have no even problem. To, to, they, to them, it's not a, a point of question. They can assign you, they know they can assign you even a spiritual motorbike. Because I remember where I grew up, um, we were acquainted with all these demonic witchcraft activities. And there was, I remember, I must have been around about six or seven when they assigned these... Um, um, they call them in Swahili. I don't know if also you to you have them. They call them kifaru, kifaru. That is, these are demons that are no, and now in in Uganda they call them chifaru, <laughs> chifaru. But you call them in Swahili kifaru. Those are the this you know the fimbo squad, the spiritual fimbo squad, <laughs> kifaru. Anyway, for those that are not kifaru is. Um, beating you know these are spiritual demons that are assigned to beat people so they would come on a motorbike now you're asking me moses a motorbike demons on a yeah it, it, you could hear the motorbike but you can't you can't see them Brrr, and they would pass and they come and they beat this particular woman and i remember there's those that they assigned to my grandmother in um they came in form of a caterpillars but this caterpillar sting you can't see the caterpillar and they stung her so much and she was uh, until she started to undress and they had to lock my grandmother in the bedroom she wasn't mad but she was being stung all over you know when a caterpillar has you know passed somewhere those uh, um ones i don't know what you call it in english but if it uh, it passes on your arm there's a way it will sting you and um, that's what happened to her. And until they burnt her so much and she was crying until she fell and became unconscious. And uh, they called my grandfather who brought up the Quran and was burning incense and uh, pleading with the, with the genies to talk. And I began, they began to talk these marine powers and they demanded they needed a white ship to be slaughtered, blah, 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 all of that kind of stuff. But what I'm trying to say to you is that um, I have grown up to see many of these manifestations occur. And I have seen, and the children of darkness have no problem understanding that they can assign you a snake. Take, for instance, in India, this is very common. The, the, god, the goddess called Najina. Najina is this, you see everywhere you go, you see that cobra uh, serpent. You see it on their altars, even when the when uh, Krishna is um, folding her arms or Buddha seated and you find you will find where Najina as well. Now Najina, that's the serpent, the, the, the black cobra, the Najina spirit that they can assign you a snake to come and finish. You can be here in England and they assign it from, from India and it will come for you to just manifest in their house and you see a snake coming, bite somebody, disappears, dies. I mean, the person dies and that's it. So the sons of darkness have no problem and as understanding that spirits can take on the personalities of creatures, animals, or sometimes they can even use impersonify, impersonifying spirits. You remember the, the one that necromancer called the, the spirit of a, a dead prophet, Samuel. So this impersonating spirit, some of you have had your parents gone and dead, long gone and dead, but they are manifesting. Even some of you, a grandmother you never saw before, she, you, 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 by the time you were born, she was dead. Or great grandmother, but she manifests and comes and talks to you exactly. And when they show you the picture of how she was, exactly that's how she is. And you've never met her, you've never seen her in any way in a picture. So these things are not a problem to the sons of darkness to believe and to understand how these things function or happen. Do you see what I'm saying? But only this kind of uh, um, uh, ignorance or cause unfortunately uh, surprisingly to uh, in the in the children of the kingdom where we shouldn't be actually um unaware of the things now that being said um 
most of you have dreamt when actually cows and in where i come from i have people here from my country that um can verify what i'm telling you they there's what they call a mayembe mayembe like is like spirits that are signed witchcraft spirits that are signed but a mayembe if you translate it from directly from english i mean direct translation from my language would be a mayembe is like horns but when you talk about horns, the horns of a cow. Now, this Mayembe, some people dream when you dream, people dream when a cow, cows appearing to them or cow is chasing you in a dream. Somebody, cow is chasing them. By the time they finish to be chased or in a dream, when they wake up, a cow was chasing me. Not many days down the line, somebody gets an accident, somebody... Uh, dies a sudden death, somebody just suddenly gets ill and they take them to the hospital, bedridden, others die like that. So you see what I'm saying? But most of the people have seen um, various animals manifesting. So just as you, say, you see in the Garden of Eden, Satan chose the personality of a snake <laughs> um, to, ex to fight, to express himself. So you can see how spirits take on. It can come in form of a... You, you remember when Jesus was casting out mind-binding and con mind-controlling spirits that have, have a form of a squid and an octopus. These spirits have, um, uh, like I said to you yesterday, they have tentacles. So they have tentacles that, um, that, ra um, that wrap around the mind. Okay, they have tentacles um, that wrap around the mind. And like I said to us um, um, yesterday, the, their, their assignment is to hinder uh, people from thinking clearly. And these spirits cause much confusion. And, um, and also besides causing confusion, they keep people from seeing the truth. They, their assignment is to ensure that people don't see the truth also, these are also powerful spirits that often require fasting to break, like I said yesterday. Now, I've, uh, like I say, I'm, t I'm giving you spirits that represent that are represented by the sea, by the sea creatures. That's what I'm talking about. Now, other spirits that are represented by the sea creatures are spirits of lust. <laughs>